Welcome to the Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 12C demo series. In this demonstration, I will show you how to use Enterprise Manager Cloud Control to create Fusion Middleware provisioning profiles. These profiles can then be used for future provisioning or cloning operations. Being able to provision or clone from a profile simplifies the middleware installation and configuration process and ensures that any Oracle Fusion Middleware software being installed across your data center meets the IT standards in your organization. This video is applicable to Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 12C Release 4 with Fusion Middleware Plugin Release 12.1.0.7. Oracle Enterprise Manager supports the creation of three different types of provisioning profiles. The first and simplest type is an installation media-based provisioning profile. This type of profile executes one or more previously downloaded product installers. You can download this installation media from the standard Oracle eDelivery site or the Oracle Technology Network site. Administrators use this type of provisioning profile to perform a fresh installation of WebLogic Server for the very first time. The second type is an Oracle Home provisioning profile. This type of profile captures an existing Oracle middleware installation that has already been discovered as an Enterprise Manager target. This profile includes any modifications or patches you've made to the base installation as well. Administrators use this type of profile to provision custom installations on one or more hosts. The third and final type is a WebLogic domain provisioning profile. This type of profile is captured from an existing domain, which has already been patched, configured, and discovered as a managed target in Enterprise Manager. This type of provisioning profile is used to both install WebLogic server software and configure a new WebLogic domain. To create a Fusion Middleware profile, I will need to log in as an administrator who has been granted the provisioning designer role. Navigate to the Middleware Provisioning page. This page provides a summary of all the middleware provisioning profiles and deployment procedures that are available to the administrator. From the Profiles section, click on the Create menu to expose the three types of middleware provisioning profiles that I introduced earlier. First, I will create a provisioning profile based on an existing WebLogic domain. Be sure to provide an appropriate name and a detailed description so that you and others can distinguish it from other profiles. Then select an existing WebLogic domain target. In this example, I will select a domain that has previously been configured for Oracle SOA Suite. Once I select the source domain, the domain home and host fields automatically get populated. If the domain relies on a relational database, I can also create a database profile, but this task is beyond the scope of this demonstration. Provide the necessary credentials for the selected Oracle Home and WebLogic domain targets and test these credentials. Optionally, customize the schedule and upload location. By default, the profile is created immediately and it's stored in a default location within the software library.
While the first job is running, I will create another provisioning profile that is based on an existing Oracle home. Remember that this will not capture a domain configuration, only the software installation and any modifications that I've made to it. Choose an existing Oracle Home target and then provide its credentials. Finally, I will create a basic provisioning profile that simply runs some existing installation media. For example, assume that I've previously downloaded the standard SOA Suite 11G installer jar file from the Oracle Technology Network. Note that Enterprise Manager supports a variety of different Fusion middleware products and versions. Next, I select the host target and credentials to which I've downloaded the installation media files. And then I select the directories on this host where the installation media resides. In this example, SOA Suite requires an Oracle WebLogic Server Installer, a SOA Installer, and optionally an Oracle Service Bus Installer as well. I can also track the progress of any provisioning jobs from the Procedure Activity page. And for troubleshooting purposes, I can view the results of each step involved in the creation of a new provisioning profile. Just click a specific step on the left side of the page to view these details.
After a profile is created, I can click on the profile's name to view additional details about it, such as when it was created and who created it. If I select a WebLogic domain profile, then I can also view additional domain details like servers, machines, clusters, and even data sources, JMS servers, and persistent stores. So that concludes this demonstration on creating three different types of middleware provisioning profiles with Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 12C. Next, you can use these profiles to run middleware deployment procedures and quickly provision new environments. Thanks for watching.